Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at negative powers with variables. So following on from the previous video with numbers, same rules apply. So I think in the previous example um, that I was talking about, we said that if you have a to the power of negative m, then this could be written as 1 over a to the power of m. So looking at that first question, we've got x to the power of negative 2. Nice and simple, that means this just gets rewritten as 1 over x squared. Let's go to question B. Question B, it actually says uh, 3x to the power of negative 2. And I've seen people do this, where they actually write this as 1 over 3x squared. Now, if you do that, you're actually incorrect. And the reason is because 3 as x, x got his own power, which is 1. Which means it's 3 actually has a positive in, um, power, and so we're not really going to do anything to it. And we're simply going to leave it as at the numerator. But because x has a negative power, we're going to bring it down to x, x squared. Now what I'm going to do on the side here is I'm going to kind of do a b2 just to show you the difference when 3x actually comes down. If the question looks like this, 3x to the power of negative 2, then you actually bring, because um, the negative 2 is actually for everything inside the bracket, we actually bring it down um, to 3x to the power of squared and that's what people do and again that's still not correct because you actually need to make sure you have that bracket there because what ends up happening is the final answer in this case is actually 1 over 3 squared is 9 and then x squared stays as this <clears throat> so I hope you guys can see the difference between the two ways of doing question B or the two misconceptions people actually end up doing okay so let's go to question C 3 has a positive um, power, so I'm not going to touch it. x squared is positive, so the only thing is y is negative 3. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3x squared over y cubed. And that's it, you can't do anything further. So let's go to question D. Now, remember I talked about brackets, so you can actually do this two ways. You can actually write this as powers of negatives and then kind of play around with it. Or you can actually uh, flip it um, flip it into a fraction and do it that way as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do it with the powers. So 3 has a power of 1. So that means 3 now, when I ex um, multiply the powers of powers, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And then x is going to be 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. And then y is going to be negative 3 times negative 2, which equals to positive 6. So what I can then say is because 3 has a negative power, it goes to the denominator. x has a negative power, it goes to the denominator. y is a uh, positive power, which is going to stay at the top. So I'm going to get 3 squared x to the power of 4. But of course, 3 squared, I know what it is, which is 9. So I'm going to rewrite this as 9x to the power of 4. Okay, so let's go to question E. When you get to question E, it is a fraction to the power of negative number. So same rules as applies as numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it upside down. But when we flip it upside down, uh, the one we don't re we can ignore it because x squared over one is you know x squared over one is just x squared. So I'm not really going to bother with it. And I'm going to have that with a power of two because when I flip it um, flip the fraction, I'm going to end up with a positive power. And then x squared uh, to the power of two is just x to the power of four. So similar kind of concept here with uh, question F. I'm going to flip the uh, fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this as 27y cubed z over 3x squared. And then instead of writing it as negative 2, I just write it as positive 2. So just be aware, guys, that um, when you're flipping the fraction, whatever's inside the bracket, you don't need to change any of the symbols. Because what you're actually doing is you're actually changing the symbol for the power. And so you don't really need to worry about it at that point. So from here, you've got, you can actually do this two ways. You can simplify 27 over 3 first and rewrite that as 9. So you're going to get 9y cubed z over x squared. And then that's now raised to the power of 2. So remember that z has got a power of 1. So when I um, do powers of powers, and 9 also has a power of 1. So what it ends up looking like, it's going to be 9 squared y to the power of 3 times 2, which is 6, and then z 1 times 2, which equals to 2. And the whole thing is divided by x to the power of 2 times 2, which is 4. So when we do this, we get 9 squared, which equals to 81. And we got y to the power of 6, z squared, over x to the power of 4. 
Cool. Um, that's basically it for this uh, short little video, folks. As always, don't forget to like and share this video. And also, please subscribe to the channel for uh, more content like this. And I'm kind of trying out a couple of new things. So you should be seeing a couple of videos popping up with some worked answers for uh, fully worked answers for algebra exams and some skills just in case you forget them. So thank you for watching.